when I'm out on the trail for multiple days, I've got to keep my fridge running, I've got to keep all my camera gear charged, and I've got to keep my laptop going. And this system right here that we're going to talk about today, I've been using for several months. There's some things I like, a couple things I don't like. So I'm going to share with you today my thoughts about this whole system. Stay tuned. Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and today on this video, we're taking a look at my Goal Zero Yeti 400 power station with the Boulder 50 watt solar panel. This is a system that I bought several months ago because I needed something for when I'm doing overnight trips to keep all of the electronic gear that I'm using well charged. You know, I've got a fridge, I've got lots of camera gear, and I gotta keep my laptop going, and then, you know, my cell phone, and my son's cell phone, and iPad. It's a lot of electronics when we're out on multi-day trips, and so having a system like this was something that I was very interested in. Now, I know there's some folks out there that prefer having a dual battery setup in their vehicle for having that extra power, but for me, this system at this price point and having portability to be able to go from one vehicle to the next or just take this thing in my backyard and having solar charging capability was really perfect for me, and I've been very happy with this. Just a couple Couple little criticisms but let me point out that this is not a sponsored video guys I purchased this full price and I've been using this for a couple months and today I'm just gonna give you my full review on it now let's look up close here and take a look at what we've got now the Yeti 400 is a lead acid battery and it's pretty heavy this thing weighs about 33 pounds but Goal Zero does offer a Yeti 400 in a lithium battery which is much lighter I think it's almost half the weight of this but I didn't buy that one because of the charging capabilities of this one versus that one which I'll explain here in just a minute now what can you charge on the Yeti 400? Well, over here we have three 12 volt ports and two of these ports are Goal Zero's proprietary ports so you can only plug in like their lights that they have and all that. But then there is a standard cigarette lighter that is a 12 volt which is really nice. In the center, you've got two USB ports, which is perfect. We are using those all the time. But I'll tell you, instead of having those proprietary ports, I would sure like to have another USB or two. And then over on the far side, you have the two 110 volt AC chargers, just like a household outlet. And these are work really great. My only complaint with these two things is they're so close together. A lot of the equipment I carry, you know, battery chargers for the camera gear or my charger for my handheld CB radio, you know, they're wide and they you can't charge two of those or even one of those and something else together. So, you know, you would have to get like an extension cord or something like that. And that's just something I don't want to do. So it would be nice if those were a little wider. And on top of all the charging ports, there are buttons that you need to press that allow power to go to to you know, the 12 volt system or the USB system. But you notice here when you press the AC button, it actually starts using a little bit of power. I'm not sure why that is, but just something to take note of. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with the options here. It's working really well for us when we're out on the trail. Now, let's talk about the case here for a second. This case is, I think it's a really hard plastic. I'll just say it's very durable. I, uh, I'm not easy on this thing. It's banged around in the Jeep. I'm throwing it around on the ground. I'm throwing stuff on top of it. Uh, I haven't been taking it very easy on this thing. The handle here is very sturdy. It's easy to pick this up, uh, but the case is rock solid. On the side, you have uh, two fans, one on each side, and they're very quiet fans. I, you barely hear them when they turn on. On front of the unit, you have a very nice LCD display that's got a nice backlight, and it'll tell you how many watts you've got coming in. It'll tell you the overall percentage charge of the battery, and then how many watts you're using. You can also press and hold this if you want to see some other information. It'll tell you amp hours, watt hours, how many amps you're using currently, volts, with the total volts of the battery, and then watts. I usually just leave it at watts, but otherwise, very nice. And also on both sides of the case are the ability to plug in secondary or tertiary batteries. You can chain up multiple batteries to give yourself a lot more power, which is a really nice feature. Now, I won't be doing that in the back of the Jeep, but you know what? If you were doing something at your garage or you had a bigger vehicle and you need more power, that's a nice capability to have here built into this. 
Now let's talk about the three ways we can recharge this because for me, this was the big deal. Now one, obviously you can recharge this just by plugging it into your household outlet and that will charge just fine. But the big point for me was you can charge this one because it's lead acid off a vehicle's 12 volt system. You cannot do that with the lithium battery. So that allows me to plug this in while I'm driving around on the trail and have this recharging all day long. And then when I get to where I'm camping, I can just unplug it and I've got almost a fully charged battery, which is a really nice feature. And the third way to charge the Yeti 400 is with the Boulder 50 solar panel, which is such a nice capability. I was recently in Baja, California, and me and a couple friends were out there just camping for several days. And this was really doing a great job of keeping this thing charged up. I was running, you know, my refrigerator off of there, camera gear, laptop, and the first two days the sun was really intense, clear skies, and this was putting out about 38 watts, which that's about normal because you do lose some power going from the solar panel to the battery. So 38 watts at the high point of the day was really nice. And the last day was a little overcast and I was getting about 24 to 30. 30 watts uh, and it wasn't keeping up by the end of the day. I mean, now we were charging a lot of stuff and I was charging other people's stuff by that point. Uh, so I ended up plugging my refrigerator back into my Jeep. But all in all, for two and a half days to be able to run my refrigerator and all my gear off of this with the solar panel is a really nice capability. I do think you could daisy chain this. There is an option to you know, run a couple of these in parallel or getting the briefcase. They sell one that is a 100 watt briefcase and it folds up and it's the same size. That might be an option that's something I might look at here in the future. Now the solar panel is a monocrystalline and it is proprietary, which means they have their own plug that fits right into the Goal Zero system. It's really plug and play and makes things very easy. Now this thing is also very durable because I've had this banging around in the back of the Jeep. It's got a very nice aluminum frame and it's got a kickstand so you get the optimal angle when you're sitting it out in the sun. But if you wanted to you know, mount this on the roof or something, you can lay it flat. It's got a nice frame that will allow you to do that. Very happy with the durability of the Boulder 50. One additional thing that I bought that did not come with this system is this 30 foot cord which allows me to leave the Goal Zero Yeti 400 in the Jeep and then I can put the solar panel out far away in optimal sunlight. This is a nice little extra that I think is worth buying. The cord that it comes with is only about a little over five feet, just not long enough if you want to leave this in the vehicle and then have this charging. So for me, uh, that little extra purchase was worth it. Now I'm going to leave links down below where you can go check out the Yeti 400 and the Boulder 50 solar panel along with that 30 foot extension cord. You know, I have been very happy with this product. It's really meeting my needs. And if this is something that will work for you, go click those links guys and go check it out. Now look, if you are visiting Trail Recon for the first time, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team and you don't want to miss any of our future content that we've got coming up. Thanks for watching.